you got to know that there's a difference, right? Between control and respect. Where there is control, there is force, right? Where there is respect, there is a want. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, right? We hear it all the time in relationships when it comes to husband to wife. A lot of people refer to how a husband is being put in check by the wife. But in actuality, in many relationships, in many relationships, the husband and or the wife, because it goes both ways, but the husband respects his wife and loves his wife enough to say, I want to do whatever is going to make my wife happy. I want to do whatever is going to put a smile on my wife's face. I want to do whatever it is that's going to bring joy and balance and peace and abundance into her world because her world is my world. Her peace is my peace, right? So that husband and or again wife is willing to continue to want to do those things versus when you're trying to control, same scenario, control your spouse into doing certain things for you. Right. You're trying to control them. You're trying to force them. If you love me, you would do this for me. If you love me, you would do right. You're trying to force them by manipulation. You're trying to force them by toxicity. You're trying to force them. Then usually you're going to be pushing them in the opposite direction. You got to know that there is a difference between respect and control. Right. When you respect someone, you want to do it. It don't matter what it is. I don't care if you got me jumping through 50 loops and hoops, baby. If I respect you and that's going to bring you joy, that's going to bring you love and happiness and peace and abundance, baby, I'm going to jump through 100 loops just for you. That's something I want to do because I love you. And if I love you and I know that means that that relationship is reciprocal and you would do the same for me, right? But where there's control... There is manipulation, there is toxicity, there is unhealthy behavioral patterns where a person has obligated you to do certain things for them. Something you never committed yourself to, something you never said you were going to do, but in their head, because they feel that it's okay, they want you to do, and this can relate not to just marriage, right? This can relate to friendships. This can relate to business partnerships, whatever it is. This is why we oftentimes find such an imbalance in our relationships in general with people, with others. Because while one person is respecting the other person's wishes, respecting the other person, right? Person number other (laughs) is trying to be controlling and manipulative and toxic. So you got to know the difference between control and respect. If it's something that you want to do, then that means it's out of respect. If it's something you feel obligated to do and you feel like you're being forced.